Hello everyone, it's Monday, July 7th, 2014, and I'm making this video to try to give some tips about buying silver coins or junk silver coins. Um, I don't claim to be an expert at all on this. I don't know very much about it, but I'm going to share what I know and hopefully it will help others to have just some basic tips on buying coins. Um, I don't have that much silver. I haven't bought that many coins. I have a few and I'm not even sure that in a crisis this will make a huge difference in my life or sustaining my life um, but I do believe that this is real money and anything we can have to sort of hedge against what's coming especially the collapse of the dollar which I believe is coming will hopefully help us in our survival mode if we're in one um, and I'm just making this video to help you if you're interested yourself and try to help you stay away from some things that might not be um, good choices to buy. This website is GainesvilleCoins.com out of Florida. I've bought some things from this website. It's very user friendly. They have good customer service and I've never had a problem with anything I've ordered. And, um, and they, you know, I've asked around and they come pretty highly recommended from some other folks that I know who've bought coins. Um, so just a little video here on some tips for buying silver. Um, as you can see from the ticker in the front here, there's several coins that are collector coins. Like this one, for example, the 2014 Yellow Fin Tuna Independence Day Specials. These coins are typically have a little bit more of a markup or what they call being over spot, like $4 over spot or $3 over spot. And that's because they're collector's coins. Then in a crisis, these coins are going to go for really less than, um, a, 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 it'll go for this probably the same amount as a regular coin. So these themed coins are still silver, but they have a collector's appeal. And if you pay more for them in a crisis, you're probably going to get the same return on them that you would just a regular knockoff silver coin with no theme. Okay, so going through here over to the left, you can see there's a little drop down box on how to pick what you want. You have silver, gold, platinum, palladium, copper. I don't have enough money to buy gold. Um, I've bought a few pieces of silver and a few pieces of copper. And some say that copper is the next silver and it's very inexpensive to buy. Um, but looking down here at these little graphs, you can see what gold is trading at. 13, 15.54 per ounce. Silver over here, $20.98 per ounce. Palladium and platinum are also over here. And you can scroll down each time and see what, each day actually, how these coins are, are performing or how these metals are performing. Um, if I go over here to silver, gives you several choices, and again, you have these themed coins that are more expensive. The Chinese coins, I've heard, aren't as pure as some of the other coins. I haven't bought any Chinese coins, like this panda, for example, I think comes out of China. Um, there's been some talk that they're not as pure, so I haven't bought any of those. But if I go to just U.S. Silver Coins and just tap that, it's going to take me to several choices. And I'm hoping that my computer is going to cooperate with me here. But one of the things that I've bought some, one of the categories that I've purchased from are these 90% junk silver coins. And as you can see right here, if I can get in the camera. This is a 1944 quarter. I have a couple of these. These are 90% silver. And they're spent just like money. And I believe it's pre-1964 where there was quite a bit of silver in the coins and since then the silver has been taken out. 
So this is a great buy, these 90% junk silver coins. And they trade at about the same price as what an ounce of silver is trading at right now. I also have, if I look over here, Morgan Peace Dollars, I have a couple of these bars. And again, they're just a different shape, but still silver. And it's, again, not any more valuable than just what silver is trading at. So the theme of it is not going to make you any more money than a regular coin, regular silver coin. I have a half troy ounce right here, buffalo coin. So it's just a regular silver coin. I don't know if you can see this, but it's, let's see, three nines. Point nine 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 is pure silver. If you can get four nines, that's even better, but point nine 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 is what you need to look for when you're purchasing silver coins, unless it's the junk silver. And those are just money, regular money coins. Okay, I have one theme coin here. This is the Austrian Philharmonic. Again, I probably paid about $40 for this ounce. But it's a theme coin, it's a collector's coin, and it's not going to do me any better than a regular plain silver coin. I have here a Eagle. U.S. Silver Eagle, not so much of a theme coin, but again, three nines is what you're looking for. And then I have some copper rounds here. These are like a dollar each and very, very inexpensive to buy. And I have several of these. Supposedly it's the new silver, but who knows. Um, Going down this site, you can see how you can purchase your quantity. You can use your credit card. You can add to your cart. They have lots of choices here. But I just try to buy the basic silver because it's just as good as the collector's coins. And it spins the same way. I click on these junk coins here. going to take me there. It explains junk silver and the period pre-1965, 90% U.S. silver coins, 90% silver coins are sometimes referred to as junk silver. Junk silver consists of quarters, dimes, and half dollar coins once used in circulation, all composed of 90% silver and 10% copper. So these are ones that a lot of people can afford and you can have a small stash of silver without breaking your bank. So I will link to this site and if you're interested have a look and hopefully you can prepare yourself for what's coming. Have a great day everyone.